Hello Lote. I wanted to uh, just illustrate some of my thinking around music which extends some of the ideas that we wrote about in our paper on Bach and um, I'm going to play this piece um, and illustrate what I'm thinking about but um, I just want to point out a few things because it is different from Bach. This is Haydn. Um, it's Haydn's last piano sonata in C major and it's got a really lovely uh, slow movement which is um, quite witty as you would expect in Haydn um, but the structure of it seems to be driven by a different kind of redundancy from the kind of redundancy that we see in Bach so instead of um, having uh, lots of different parts imitating each other which is what you see in Bach in Haydn you get a very simple chord which he then finds lots of different ways of stating so there's another way So it's the same as, and then he finds another way. And then he repeats it. surprise in Haydn um, but um, this is a continual feature not just in this piece but actually a, quite a lot of classical um, uh, the classical repertoire um, and it's it's it it's where the redundancy becomes structural and I think that this is a very interesting thing so uh, there's another example same thing and not up an octave but also all of this it's just delaying um, or finding finding lots of ways of actually playing with that sound before he does something different or he does something unexpected there's a lovely um, also he's sometimes able to just sort of use the redundancy to make time stand still and there's a lovely moment in this um, where he's got this um, very simple accompaniment which isn't doing anything at all and he puts a scale on top of it When you get to the end of pieces there's always redundancy and this is very noticeable in this the way it closes is just um, just really lovely again you've got the same play on the chord So just the same motif, the same chord, just presented many times. And I think in my own sort of understanding of this, I think this is how the music creates nothing and it uses redundancy to create nothing. So I'm gonna play it through uh, the whole way. I'm gonna display on the bottom of the screen um, the entropy analysis, which I've been doing on the sound. So this is using the frequency of the notes and the loudness and the richness of the texture and it produces entropy every second and that should scroll along the screen as I um, as I play this music so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it interesting mm -hmm. 